going on there guys good afternoon earthmaster here on the live stream on this beautiful tuesday april 12 2022 date about 12 35 p.m california time latest quake shows some activity out here into portions of southern california uh, 2.4 earthquake the latest on the earthquake 3d globe there let's go ahead and check out some movement out here around the usgs map this here's 2.5 and above a little bit of movement down here along the imperial fault system the uh all magnitudes map here kind of shows a little bit more on the frequency of earthquakes here over the last 24 hours including that uh, looks like 2.4 got downgraded to 2.3 just along the uh, san jacinto fault zone kind of towards the northern end of it uh, there's that activity down south here around the salton sea where they seen a, um, a 3.2 kickoff yesterday but uh, since then we haven't really seen too much in the way of uptick or swarming uh, in that area of Southern California uh, up throughout the rest of the state one earthquake here around the Fresno area 2.1 at 0.8 kilometers pretty shallow movement uh, as you see here on the map still not a whole lot of uptick in earthquake activity around the uh, Ridgecrest Long Valley Super Volcano or the Antelope Valley area up here where we have been seeing uh, quite a bit of swarming uh, over the past few months uh, so far that has not returned to the West Coast a uh, little bit of activity up here around the Hayward Fault Zone stretching towards the Concord area in the Bay Area. But uh, other than that, not a whole lot of movement uh, to report there in California at all. Um, of course, Cobb Mountain up here around the Clear Lake area. This area is the hydrothermal operations there by uh, from Calpine uh, that's creating those uh, earthquakes out there south of Clear Lake. Into Oregon, pretty quiet. And Washington as well. Look at that. Not a whole lot to report and as a general right now the entire western portion of the states uh, definitely below the background levels of seismic activity things kind of just uh, on the mellow side currently up here around yellowstone national park a little bit of uh, earthquake activity being reported we'll go ahead and check out the latest map here uh, stand by for a second on the yellowstone overview this is the uh, general overview of the seismographs uh, positioned across the uh, the area of northwestern Wyoming. And there's not a whole lot going on. Little small quakes down here around the Flag Ranch area. But uh, no major swarms to report here in Yellowstone currently. Uh, backing out of here around the eastern part of the country. Southern Plains, I should say. Some movement around the Oklahoma City area. And a little activity around the New Madrid zone. We got about four earthquakes here, and they've all been, it's kind of odd, they've all been pretty much within a couple minutes of each other. Looking at the chart here, um, we had one hit this morning uh, about 11.33, and then a pair, a couple earthquakes here striking within pretty much a couple minutes and seconds of each other here uh, at the northern end of the New Madrid zone. Let's go ahead and check out the U.S. Hazard map here. It's right smack dab in that area uh, where the New Madrid zone is. A major fault system here in the center part of the country. Highly populated region as well. Looking at the population density here. Uh, shows quite a bit of areas here in the Memphis, Nashville, St. Louis area. All within that region of the New Madrid zone. Which uh, is kind of showing a little bit of activity today. We'll keep a close eye on it. Uh, four earthquakes is a kind of a little uptick for within a, just a short amount of time uh, let's go ahead and check out the last 30 days here i know we haven't seen too much in terms of earthquake activity here uh, this is the last 30 days of movement around the new madrid zone about 29 30 earthquakes or so uh, within that region of the new madrid zone and the, the prior ones are kind of spread out uh, over days and hours so it's not too often do we see um, the new madrid zone strike up you know a few earthquakes within uh minutes of each other so watching that pretty closely about eight miles or eight uh, kilometers below the surface uh, for those earthquakes this morning in the new madrid zone also further east here in eastern tennessee uh, right outside of knoxville looks like a couple earthquakes 1.8 and a couple 1.8s and also within a couple minutes of each other at about 10 kilometers so keeping an eye on this region today New Madrid zone is definitely a, uh, a seismic hazard for the states. Puerto Rico area, some movement uh, southwest edge of Puerto Rico. And up here around the Puerto Rico trench, nothing significant going on around the Caribbean to report. 
South America about the same. Some movement up and down the Peru Chile Trench. Some of it deep as well. 177 kilometers for a 4.6 up here in Peru. Uh, one earthquake down here in the South Sandwich Islands area from, uh, let's see when this was, I believe early this morning, late last night, a 5.0. These guys have seen a little bit of swarming activity again in this region of the South Sandwich Islands area. Looking at about 54 earthquakes or so in this region. Uh, nothing major. Majority of this was well above 4.5. I think the largest one we had, I think they had a six pointer. Let me see here if they've had one since the uh, last 30 days. I think 5.7 was the highest uh, in this area over the last 30 days. But today, uh, a little bit of activity kicking up. Uh, Alaska is seeing some movement kick up as well along the Aleutian Trench and specifically over here around the Rat Islands, Aleutian Islands chain here. Quite a few earthquakes popping up on the map. Seven earthquakes. Uh, looks like a bunch of fours and some threes kicking up in this area and backwards towards the mainland. Some movement along the Aleutian Trench as well. A little bit shallow, a little bit of deep movement, kind of a mixture of all of them along this uh, major subduction zone over the last 24 hours. The uh, Japan Trench and the Kuril Kamchaka Trench all pretty quiet for now. Uh, one earthquake down here south of Tokyo, 4.5 at 48.7 kilometers. A little declining in movement here around the uh, Taiwan area today. This area has seen a little bit of swarming over the past few days in the western portion of the Philippine Plate stretching down through the, the uh, Philippines area. But today about uh, three earthquakes and the majority of this uh, from earlier this morning. Uh, Tonga Trench, we are seeing a little bit of uptick here following all that deep movement. We have been watching this region pretty closely here for uh, some subsequent larger movement considering all the deep earthquake activity and the subsequent uh, larger surface activity here to the west uh, and the northwest here of the uh, Tonga Trench area. But uh, a little bit about activity. I still think we're watching this region here for uh, something at least above 5.0 along the Kermadec Trench here very soon. Uh, some further movement up here around the Fiji Islands area, including a pretty deep 4.1 here at uh, 566 kilometers below the surface. Of course, uh, up here north of North Island, Gisborne, New Zealand, seen a 4.4. Uh, that was late last night, uh, I believe early this morning. Um, within the, uh, looks like kind of the northern end of the Hikarangi subduction zone. Still got to watch this area pretty closely. Not a whole lot of uh, historical background info on this subduction zone, but it's there. Don't let it fool you, just because it's quiet. Uh, throughout the rest of the country and the, uh, the world, one earthquake here in eastern Afghanistan, a 4.2. That went pretty deep into the mountains there, 169 kilometers. And one earthquake down here. Off the coast of, uh, oh, what do we got here? What is this one here? 4.3. What is that? Mozambique? Oh, I probably slaughtered it. I uh, just haven't really seen too much in terms of earthquake activity down here. This one about 10 kilometers, though, within that little channel. Uh, Earthquakes Canada map. Some movement up here along the uh, coast here of Canada. Uh, well north looks like a 2.6 there in the Alaska area and some further movement down here along the plate boundary of the uh, Pacific Plate and the North American Plate here village of Queen Charlotte region southward and still seeing a little bit of activity here over the past few days along the Cascadia subduction zone, uh, Cascadia subduction zone there at the northern end uh, rest Canada not a whole lot going on there pretty uh, pretty minimal for the most part Trimmer activity last night only showed a small amount, 19 epicenters here into the region of southern Oregon, southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, checking out the solar weather report here. Got a G2 class incoming storm here. It looks like the uh, April 14th is when that's supposed to arrive. Supposed to, right? The sun's been acting kind of weird and we've been uh, forecasting stuff and then they don't show up. Then we don't forecast and it does show up. So a little bit of a little bit of a uh, mixing going on there with that forecasting. We'll see what happens though. Right now, KP index up around four. And I don't think we're even supposed to get any type of uh, activity kicking up here. But uh, on the second or the uh, 14th, it looks like G2 class storm, uh, and then continuing over into the April 15th time frame with a G1 
uh, as the uh, filament and the CME that popped off here uh, a day or so ago. It was earth directed. We'll see what that brings us uh, in the coming nights. Sunspot activity, not a whole lot to report here on the sun. 2988 up here, uh, looking a little active. The rest of these sunspots here, pretty minimal, even though that dead one, the uh, decayed one, produced that uh, activity that's coming at us here in the next few nights. So we'll see what uh, the sun wants to do. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Have a uh, beautiful afternoon. We'll chat you guys uh, a little bit later on this evening for the uh, update video. Take care.